Hello and welcome to the 96 tutorial in the Bootstrap Free series. In this part, we're going to be looking at non responsive grids. We'll be using the source code from the 6 tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Bootstrap can also support a non responsive system, grid system. You might be wondering why would you even use Bootstrap if you're going to be using a non responsive grid system? And well, it has a ton of great features from UI elements to a grid system that even if you don't use the responsive nature of it, it's still cross-platform and it works really well. So I see several websites every single day that aren't responsive but still look very good for a non-responsive website. And those sort of websites will be ideal candidates for, well, this sort of design. It's like Facebook. Facebook isn't very responsive, frankly. They have an app, so they don't really need to make the website responsive. But if they, if let's say somebody was creating a website like that, where they have an app and they want somebody on the desktop to have a nice experience on uh, a big browser, because most monitors are above a thousand pixels wide now, because you can get statistics off the W3 website, and they want a nice slick experience for a mobile device, then it's a prime candidate for this, and it's really easy to implement. But before we do going to open up our website and show you what it looks like at the moment. This is what it looks like so with our grid system and when we resize it, as you can see, it resizes accordingly. But what we're going to do is change it so it doesn't resize like that. So let's open up our index file in a text editor. And literally the only thing we have to do is add some CSS. We're going to do a dot .container I'll show you where the container is in a second, actually what it's affecting. I'll put 1000 pixels, important. This will just make sure it overwrites any of the styling for the container. Basically this. This is what we are affecting, because this is the bootstrap part. Because this is a bootstrap, and not this is bootstrap, this isn't actually the body of our website, it's this. Uh, you can put whatever you want in here. So if you want your width of your website to be 800 pixels, 850, 1280 pixels, 1500 pixels, it's your choice. So if we just refresh our browser, as you can see it's resized slightly because it's a thousand pixels now. We just inspect the element you can see for yourself. Go to container, as you can see it's a thousand pixels. We have the blue part and then we have the little margin at the side. So what we're going to do is as you can see hmm that isn't working the way we wanted it to because it actually is resizing I'm just gonna actually gonna try one last thing oh yeah that's because we have all these different sizes so it's trying to resize but it's not quite resizing so what we're gonna do is just put this you know what? I'm going to remove all these styles so we just have the extra small style and change this to a free. So now if we save this on our computer and just run it, refresh, as you can see, they're all the same size and they don't adjust. So basically, what you want to do is change the column size as well. Let's just zoom in so, so you can see what we've done. Let's just undo it. So we have our column, we're just going to remove the oops, sorry, the large and the medium and the small as well. Frankly you just want the extra small and what you want to do is just change it to how you, or how, how you want it to be done and then you refresh. Also I want to show you something else, if I change this value to, this container value to, I don't know, 400 pixels, refresh our browser we have 400 pixels, they don't look very good but that's not the point of this little thing that I'm trying to show you. It's 400 pixels wide, so if we inspect the element, go into container, that's 400 pixels wide, and each little thing, each little row is 800 pixels wide. And the reason it's 800 pixels wide is if we go down here, we've set the extra small size, aka the column size to 3, and the 12 grid system rule still applies. So it's still 12 column spaces wide. So if we do three, it's 25% of whatever we put here, which is great as well. So this is why you still want to use Bootstrap. It still works very well, cross-platform. It's got a lot of UI features. 
And well, that's it for non-responsive grids. The next tutorial will cover bootstrap frameworks, external frameworks that is. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see over 6,000 completely free videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. Get there today and sign up, which is completely free, which allows you to take private notes against any single video. And also, it allows you to just simply tick off lessons that you've done. Sounds like a simple feature. It is, but it's a crucial feature so you know what you've done. If there's a playlist of 200 videos, you don't want to have to go through and try and find out which ones you've done and which ones you haven't. You just look at the tick. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.